The SR-71 Blackbird is an incredible aircraft for a lot of different reasons, but to me, one of the most interesting ones is the fact that the spike on the front of the engine actually moves a little over two feet from takeoff to its max speed. While I understand some of the components that are happening there, I want to hand it off to an aerospace engineer who can fully explain why the aircraft does this. I'm the aerospace engineer, and sustained supersonic flight requires precise control of airflow into the engine. Because jet engines, including the J-58s on the SR-71, 71 requires subsonic airflow to function properly. That's exactly why the SR-71's inlet system includes a movable spike. At supersonic speeds, the spike generates an angled oblique shockwave at its tip, followed by a carefully managed series of additional oblique shockwaves inside the inlet, ending with a precisely positioned normal or terminal shockwave. These shockwaves compress the incoming air from high-speed, low-pressure supersonic flow into slower, high-pressure subsonic airflow, essential for stable compressor operation and efficient combustion. Starting at Mach 1.6, the air inlet computer begins retracting the spike about 1.6 inches for every 0.1 increase in Mach number, constantly adjusting to keep the shock system in its optimal position. This maintains peak engine efficiency and by Mach 3.2, the spike is fully retracted 26 inches back, enabling the SR-71's remarkable sustained cruise and make sure you stay cruising with us by hitting that follow button.